The world was rocked by a user data harvesting scandal where personally collected information of over 87 million people that Cambridge Analytica began collating in 2014 was allegedly used to attempt to influence voter opinion. To scuttle chances of a repeat, the European Union has introduced the General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, to force websites and social media owners to send out emails notifying users of a looming privacy policy update. But what is the big deal? is really privacy for the 21st century in the digital age, basically. The African Union has a similar policy titled the AU Convention on Cybersecurity and Personal Data Protection. But what is the case in Nigeria? Nigeria has passed the, thankfully, the Digital Rights and Freedom Bill, which has a comprehensive, um, three different sections on, on, on data privacy and protection, actually. In fact, some of, some of the provisions there are literally equivalent or even stronger than the GDPR provisions. But it's been passed by the House and the Senate, which means it's passed by the National Assembly, but it's about to be transmitted to the President and to be signed. The day Nigeria signs that law, then we can say we have provisions of data privacy. The GDPR require companies to be explicit in their efforts to seek consent from consumers before collecting their personal information. This law gives data owners, that is you and I, the ability to access our data anytime from data controllers, it gives us the ability to reject and say, I don't, want, I don't want you to use my data anymore. It gives you the right to say, I want you to erase all my data. That's a right to be forgotten. It gives you the right to object to processing of your data. Failure to comply to the GDPR will attract a fine of either 4% of the global revenue of a company or 23 million euros, whichever is higher. And in light of the data harvesting scandal that rocked Cambridge Analytica, Social media giant Facebook says it has blocked all avenues to avert future occurrences. We've raised the bar on the app, like the app review process. So if you're a developer and you're building for our, app, our, our platform these days, the kind of the rigor and the expectations of what you are doing with the data and why you're doing the data is just going through a, what I'm calling a higher, higher bar these days. The document may have been written to benefit Europeans. It, however, will have widespread ramifications. You are based anywhere in the world, but you process the data of Europeans or anyone in the European economic area, you are affected. That literally means every social media platform. It means that whatever you do with that person's data on your website, you're subject to GDPR. Africa companies now need to, at board level, so I'm not even talking at employee level, at board level, corporate governance level, they need to call in expert to look at how they use data, how data is protected, how they share data, what are their marketing plans that touch on people's data. It's really a big deal for African companies right now. The GDPR will further give consumers the right to access data companies store about them, as well as the right to limit the use of decisions made by set algorithms, amongst others. Victor Mathias, Channel Television News.